Now for a big question. Okay. What is a bishop? Some of them don't know what you do or what your job is. Brief explanation. Okay. So I am like uh, any of the other clergy in your church. I am first a pastor. So I'm, I'm what's called an elder in the United Methodist Church. And so I did what many of the clergy in this room do. Uh, uh, do. Uh, I was the pastor of a local church fairly close to this one in Hearst, Texas. And so for 30, over 30 years, I was the pastor of local churches until the 20th of July in which I was elected as a bishop. And then later that evening was assigned to the North Texas Conference. So the bishop is basically responsible, does not necessarily have a lot of power, but is responsible for... Um, uh, the governance, or I should say, uh, the annual conference, the North Texas Conference. Uh, one of the primary things I do is I appoint pastors to where they serve. So, so starting uh, next Monday, for example, uh, I, along with other members of the cabinet, their district superintendents, we're going to be deciding where clergy are going to be uh, stationed or where they're going to be serving for the coming year. Most of them will return. The other thing is, is you, um, you uh, I, I think that one of the most important things I can do and it's something I feel truly called to do, is to help us strategically think about what it means to introduce us to people whom God wants us to know. And I think one of the things to do is strategically think and always envision for so many of us that really what our calling is to do is to make disciples for the transformation of the world. But well, the world is a big place. And our piece of the world is called the North Texas Conference. And if you believe it or not, that there are probably most people in the North Texas Conference who don't have what I would call a living, vital relationship with God in Christ. And I think one of the things that, you know, it's important in terms of my own role is to continually remind us, strategically think, encourage, envision clergy and laypersons like you to begin what it means to help us meet people who don't have a vital relationship and help them get introduced to this relationship with our God. And so it has a lot of complicated administrative pieces with it, but all in all, the most important thing is to hold that kind of, that, that particular goal, that particular relationship, that particular reason for being as a people of God in front of us all of the time. That was amazing. Let's give the bishop a hand.